Welcome back. Tonight's Get in the Zone sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling, get your home in the zone. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I had a chance to get in the zone with former Ohio State standout and national champion Joel Penton. Penton is a renowned speaker, author, and ministry leader and stopped by the set for a couple of minutes to talk football, faith, and finding God. You've been around for a while. What are some of the experiences that you've had that just kind of keep you coming back to doing this? Well, I, uh, my life has been changed by the gospel and uh, by Jesus, and so I have a heart to share that with others. So if someone gives me an opportunity to stand up in front of a group of people and share my story, then I'm usually going to take it. You have a message of, of positivity along with just sharing the gospel of Christ and kind of couching that in a sports type of environment. Of course, sports, extracurricular activities of all kinds are, are uh, not really happening because of the COVID-19 pandemic things that are going on. Uh, there's a lot of push to kind of get sports moving up and going. Some sports are already happening, football, maybe, maybe not. Um, what is kind of your, how important do you feel that extracurriculars are, sports in particular are, to just a, a more of a well-rounded kind of positive frame of mind? filling the time with something else. Yeah, I think it can be very important um, for, for a student, you know, for some, someone who's, who's young. Uh, it was very influential in my own life, and I know that for many students, especially those who were in sports, and that was one of the things that was helping them stay on the right path, to all of a sudden not be able to have that in their life is going to present some challenges for, for many students. And so I know I, I, I'm not an expert on the um, dangers of, of COVID and those types of things, uh, but I do know that there are going to be some challenges for students if they're not able to be to participate. What are some of the responses that you get when you go into a school to speak and they hear about, and it's not just Joel Penton, the, the ministry leader, the speaker, the author, but it's the it's the former football player, it's the former book, Buckeye, it's the former national champion. How does all that kind of come into uh, kids reacting to you and responding to you when you come in and speak? Sure. Well, I'm, I'm aware that students come to hear me speak, not because they've heard that I'm some great speaker or something. <laughs> they don't know who I am. Uh, they've never heard my name, uh, you know, but they, they know Ohio State football. And so it gives me an opportunity. It gives me a minute or two to get their attention, um, to draw them in, and then hopefully to impart some, some encouragement and wisdom. Some of the ways you're grabbing their attention is with LifeWise Academy. This is starting up, but tell us a little bit about that. What What is this? Yeah, we're very excited about LifeWise Academy. It's a release time religious instruction program, which very few people know much about release time, and that's that students can actually be released from school, from public school during the school day to receive religious instruction as long as it's off campus, privately funded, and they have parental permission. It's very few people know that this is possible, but it's in the law. It can happen in our pilot uh, program in Van Wert, Ohio. 95% of the public elementary school students are taught the Bible each and every week through this program. And we are, our goal is to replicate that across the entire country. Is there a timing for a rollout on this? Like when, if you're, if you're not at Van Wert, if you're in another school, what's the expectation that you might be able to experience this? Anybody can contact us at any time to begin the process. We launched in two additional schools this past fall. We we're going to launch in many more this coming school year, but the pandemic has slowed things. We will launch in two additional school districts, so this coming school year we'll have five active programs, but we have dozens of communities that are at various points in our launch process, and if you're in a community and you'd love to at least learn about what would it look like to have a Bible education program for public school students, contact us and we'd begin, we'd love to begin that conversation. 